dear students for the grade 6 maths class conducted by St. Peter's College, Kalama for Nikambo branch. Right, so today we are going to learn about lesson number 12, Rectilinear Plain Figures. Okay. Children, uh, at the end of this lesson, you will be able to learn these things. First, you will be able to learn what are plane figures, then rectilinear plane figures with their properties, triangles, quadrilaterals, different quadrilaterals with their special features. Right. Children, uh, before going to rectilinear plane figures, we should learn actually what plane figures are. Right. Plane figures. What do you think? Figures which can be aligned on a flat surface or a plane are known as plane figures. Right. Plane. There are horizontal planes and there are there are horizontal planes and there are vertical planes. Right. So uh, whatever the figures that, that can be kept nicely that are aligned or flat figures which can be kept on a surface, it can be horizontal or vertical, are known as plane figures. Fine. Now we are going to learn how plane figures are formed. Right. Some plane figures are made with straight lines only. Some are made with curved lines only and some are made with straight lines and curved lines. Okay. Now look at here. You, you are all aware about this figure. This is a triangle. This is a triangle. Triangle is a closed plane figure. Right. And look at this children, this is a circle, this is a closed plane figure. Closed means it is nicely closed. It's, uh, it's uh, enveloped nicely. Now we are going to learn further about these things. So this is made only with curved lines. Right. Look at here, this is another special figure. It is made with straight line as well as a curved line. Okay. Right. Now, when you consider plane figures in whole children, they are mainly divided into two parts. Some are open plane figures, some are closed plane figures. Right. Now, open plane figures, what do you mean by open? Now, look at here in this picture, it is not nicely enveloped, it is not nicely closed. You can see nicely here, there is a there is a blank. So these are open figures. There is a certain opening here. So whereas the other part is the closed plane figures. They are closed. Can you see there are no opening? It's nicely the, the place that the figure is started and the ending point, the starting point and the ending point of this. When I draw, uh, just think that I'm going to draw a square. I start from here and I end with the same point. I end in, in the same point. So the starting point and the finishing point is the same in the closed plane figure. So these are closed plane figures. Furthermore, closed plane figures can be categorized as uh, they according to the way they are formed. Made only with curved lines, made only with straight lines and made with curved lines and straight lines as we discussed in the previous slide. Okay. Right. Now we are going to go to discuss rectilinear plane figures. Now what are rectilinear plane figures? 
Actually, children, the closed plane figures that are formed only by straight line segments, right? The straight, the closed plane figures that are made only by straight line segments are known as rectilinear plane figures, right? What does that mean? There are certain features of rectilinear plane figures, children. It has to be made with straight lines only and it has to be a closed plane figure. Fine. Now we will see what are rectilinear plane figures. Now I have, I have attached here various kind of figures. Now you are well aware some of you are, some of the uh, shapes are known, well known to you. Right? So normally plane figures when you were in primary grades you call them as shapes, just shapes. Right. So rectilinear plane figures made Close plane figures made only with straight line segments. Can you see here? Can you see any of the uh, any of these figures made with a curved line? No. Right. So let's go to the first one. What is this? It is a triangle. This shape is a square. This one is a rectangle. This is the rhombus. And this is just a shape. It's just like a shape of a square. It's another figure. Actually, you should not have the ordinary shapes, or not only the ordinary shapes are belong to rectilinear plane figures. Maybe just like a flag or a cross, right? Because these are made only with straight line segments and they are close plane figures. So this is also a rectilinear plane figure. Okay. Let's move on to the next slide. Any straight line segment of a rectilinear plane figure is known as its side. Right? Okay, now we are going to the features of rectilinear plane figures. Right. Look at here, children. Now, these are the sides. That means any straight line, right? Any straight line in a rectilinear plane figure is known as a side. So the triangle has three sides and three angles. Right. We we'll move on to the next slide, then you will know what is an angle. Now you have sides, there are sides and angles. An angle formed by two straight line segments within a rectilinear plane figure is known as its angle. Right. Now look at here. This means the interior. The interior inside when you the, the distance between two sides, the measurement that is inside the figure is known as its angle. So the triangle has three angles. That's why the name is formed. Triangle. Tri stands for three. That means three angles. And there are three sides. Okay, let's move on to the square. How many angles are here in the square, children? There are four angles. Four angles. And how many sides are there? There are four sides. Right, this is a rectangle. There are how many angles are there in the rectangle? Four angles. And there are four sides. The rhombus is also having the rhombus is also having four angles and the four sides. So the shape of this cross is also having uh, these angles. Okay. One, two, three, four. There are many. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. 9, 10, 11, 12. There are many angles in the cross. You can see. Right? Don't worry much about it. Right. So let's move on to the next slide. Now children, normally there is a similar number of interior angles to the number of sides in a rectilinear plane figure. Normally, but this, not, this is not going to apply for everything. Now look at this. That means the number of angles are similar to the number of sides. 
sides in a rectilinear plane figure, but it's not applicable for all these terms. Now look at here, children. Right now, here we had three angles and three sides. Square also had three angles and three sides. Rectangle also had three angles and three slides. Sides. Then the rhombus also had three angles and uh, four angles and four sides. Here four angles and four sides. Four angles and four sides. Three angles and three sides. But the square, but the uh, cross had lot of angles, right? We will see one, two. The sides we will see. There were about one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 angles. Basically, there are 12 sides also. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 years. So, we can say, we can say that there is a similar number of interior angles to the number of sides in a rectilinear plane figure in simple terms. Hope that you can clearly understand it. Right. Now we are going to go for the smallest rectilinear plane figure. Right. What is the smallest rectilinear plane figure, children? The smallest one is the triangle. Triangle is the smallest rectilinear plane figure. Why? Now it has to be a closed plane figure. It has to be a closed plane figure, closed figure, and it should be nicely aligned on a plane and also it should be made only with straight line segments. Now look at here, with two sides, with two straight line segments, can you make any closed plane figure? No. So you can't consider this as a rectilinear plane figure. That is why you need three sides at least to make it a closed plane figure. You make three sides at least. Right. So the smallest rectilinear plane figure is a triangle, right? Now triangle has three angles as we discussed earlier and it has three sides, okay? Now what is this? It is the angle. And what is this? This is the side. So there are three sides and three angles in a triangle. Okay. Right, children, let's learn quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals are kind of a new word. Right. Now I will tell I will explain you what is this stand for now. Quadrilaterals. This is a new word for you. Children, uh, we are well aware that science and maths was evolved in the previous in, uh, in at past in many countries like uh, uh, Italy and then Greece, so for Egypt and so forth and so on. So there are certain words that has come to this maths and science from those languages uh, previously. So there are some prefixes. Now prefix means now uh, that is a short word that has been joined with another word in front. Look at here when I say. Um, mm, Right, so there are prefixes. Now look at here. Uh, when I say mono, when you have mono, that means if, if a verb is starting with a small word like mono, we say monoglyceride, monohydrate. Like that, mono stands for one. Then when something is starting with di, Dihydrochloride or something like that. Uh, don't think much about these words, but this prefix stands for two. Then when you have tri, like for science, sometimes for health science, we will learn uh, like triglycerides. Facts are made with triglycerides. So tri means three. Think about only the prefix. Right. Then quadra. If not tetra, quadra if not tetra is the prefix four, right? Then you have penta that stands for five. Then hexa stands for six. Hepta for 
seven. Okay, octave for eight. No, not for nine. They come for ten. Likewise, there are certain prefixes going on. Right. Okay, children. So, what is quadra? Quadra stands for four. Right. That's why I explained you all these things. So, the prefix quadra. Here, quadra. Quadra, quadra, and lateral, quadrilaterals. Okay? That means rectilinear plane figures that is made only with four, four sides. Okay, quadra means four. So, what are quadrilaterals, children? The rectilinear plane figures that are made only with four straight line segments. On the other, other hand, we can say that quadrilaterals are closed plane figures which are made only with four straight line segments. I hope it's very clear for you. So, there are certain figures that are only quadrilaterals. Okay, let's learn further. Right. So, here you have a nice table, right? And you, here the table is there, the quadrilateral. The name of the quadrilateral is given. Then, the special features are given. Right. Okay, before going to this, I have to ask you a small question. Think about this. Triangle. What is it? It is a triangle. Right. Can you say that triangle is a, quad, uh, the, a quadrilateral? Is triangle a quadrilateral? No. But triangle is a rectilinear plane figure, yes. But it is not a quadrilateral. Why? Because it has only three sides. So quadrilaterals are and the quadrilaterals are figures which has rectilinear plane figures which has only four straight lines. Four sides. Here the triangle has three sides. Though triangle is a rectilinear plane figure, it is not a quadrilateral. Okay. I suppose it's clear for you now. Right. So the, the so the well-known quadrilaterals are square. Rectangle. Alright, this is a square. You can see you now when you observe it very well, you can see that there are four sides. Right? And there are four angles. Right. But remember, children, when you measure these angles properly, right, you will find out these angles are 90 degrees. So you call them as the angles with 90 degrees, you have a special name called right angles. You are going to learn it further. You are going to learn it later on. Right? In the third term lesson. It is one of the third term lessons. You will be able to learn it later on. So, don't think much about it. But these four angles are uh, right angles or 90 degrees and it has four sides. But all four sides are equal in length. When you measure the length of these four sides nicely, keeping a ruler or whatever, then you will understand that all four sides are equal in length. So we are going to discuss about the special features of a square. Right. All four sides are equal in length. All four angles are equal in their magnitude. That means these four are right angles. And then the gap between opposite sides is not changing. That means the gap between the opposite sides. These two are of one opposite side. Right here, yeah, this one, this one, and this one are a pair of sides, and this one and this one are another pair of sides, whatever it is. Right, the gap between the opposite sides are not changing or constant. Constant means something that is not changing the size or the value. Right, so that means when you measure the distance inside, also the distance, interior distance from this side to this side. And this side of this side is not changing. Everything is a constant. Right? So that means, by this you can come to another conclusion. That means, both the pair of opposite sides are parallel to each other. That means, this one and this one is parallel. This one and this one is parallel. Okay? Right. Then we are moving on to rectangle. Right, children. So the rectangle is also somewhat... It is a, a quadrilateral, a rectilinear plane figure and a quadrilateral. Why? Because it is made with four sides. Right. Now look at here children. 
It also has four sides, but when you observe very well and if you measure the length, the length of this side and the length of this side, right? If I name as A and B, the length of A and length of B is similar. The length of A and length of B is similar. That length is also A. Right? The, this, the length, this length and this length is equal. This length and this length is equal in the size. So these two are having a similar length and the other two, the opposite other sides are having a different length. Right. So we can say that opposite sides are equal in length. We can say that opposite sides are equal in length. Right. And then it also has four angles and all four angles when you measure properly inside, right? The angles are right angles again, their magnitude is 90 degrees. So all four angles are equal in their magnitude and all four are right angles. Then again we can say, right, the gap between the opposite sides are constant. The gap between the pair of opposite sides are constant. That means this one to this one and this one to this one is uh, parallel to each other, right? The gap between here to here when you measure inside is a one gap and here to here is another gap. So we can say both the pairs of opposite sides are parallel to each other. Right. So we are going to moving on to rhombus. The third figure is rhombus. Right. Now, have you seen when you are, when your grandmother is or may, when your mother is preparing milk rice, they are cutting it to different shapes. Sometimes they are cutting it to the shape of the rhombus. Right. So rhombus, is this like a square? Is this a square? No. Square is different. Square is like this. And the rhombus is different. You can nicely understand. This is the square. This is the rhombus. Now look at here. The rhombus is also having four sides. Right? It also has four angles. But what can you say about the sides? All four sides are similar. Similar in length. When you take a square and you may, and may, just think you are going to use a piece of wire. A piece of wire. Do it at home and see. A metal wire. And then you are going to make a small square out of the wire. And then if you pull the wire from these two sides, if you pull from these two sides, right, after you make a frame like thing with a small wire, and if you pull from these two sides, then you are getting a rhombus finally. Right? So, what well, can you think? So, you, you can say that, you do the practical and see, you can say that. All four sides are equal in length. The length does not change of the sides. But the angles are going to be changed. Now in a square, all four angles are straight angles, 90 degrees, equal magnitude. But when you think about the rhombus, the angles are different to each other. They are not right angles. Some angles are smaller than right angle and some angles are larger than a right angle. So you can say that. You cannot say anything about the angles because the angles are not similar. Right. So special features, all four sides are equally length and you can also say the gap between opposite sides are constant. When you measure this, this the length of here to here and the length of here to here from inside, the distance is similar. Hope it's clear with you now. Right? Then parallelogram. Now look at this figure very carefully, children. Is this a rectangle? Is this a rectangle? No, it is not a rectangle. Rectangle is this. Rectangle is this. So can you see this is a this is the rectangle? And this is the parallelogram. Right, so similar, similar way, take another piece of wire, right, and then make a frame like 
make a frame of a rectangle using the wire right after you tie the knots properly and if you have, if the frame is fixed you nicely pull it with these two you hold it with the with these two sides and you pull it when you pull it to the two sides like this then what is going to happen when you pull them to this side and this side at once then the figure is going to be crooked like this right so parallelogram is somewhat a crooked figure like the rhombus can you understand so we can say there is one similar feature because of that between the rectangle and the parallelogram because the opposite sides the opposite sides are equal in their lengths this side this side is equal in the length and this side this side is also equal in the length just like equal in the length just like the rectangle but there is a small problem too so what can you think about the what can you think about the angles right look at here now the rectangle has similar angles all four angles are similar in their magnitude and they are 90 degrees no problem but the parallelogram has a problem the angles are not similar to each other some of the angles are smaller than 90 degrees some of the angles are larger than 90 degrees just like the rhombus i hope it's clear so what are the special features of a parallelogram opposite sides are equal in the length right the gap between opposite sides are constant both the sides are both sides are both of both sides of opposite sides are parallel to each other both the opposite sides are parallel to each other the gap between the sides is this gap and this gap is uh, it is constant gap between this one and this one is a constant not changing and the gap between this one and this one is also not the constant hope it's very clear with you but here the constants are similar this length and this length is similar but this length and this length is different but the gap between the two sides are constant hope it's very clear with you right so we learned two different shapes here two different figures and there is one more quadrilateral right what is this trapezium it is a trapezium now when you say trapezium what about this figure it is also a trapezium and this is also a trapezium children now this figure i have turned it upside down when this figure is turned upside down you get it looks like this but both of these are the same figure oh it's very clear right so trapezium it can be shown in it can be represented in this in this manner or in this manner no problem right let's look at this very carefully when you observe very well when you take a ruler and you and if you measure this length and this length the top length and the bottom length nicely you will understand right this length is half of this length that means here to here if it is 2 cm i will just assume if it is 2 cm here to here the length can be the length can be 4 cm when you measure properly so this length is half of the below length that means half of 4 is 2 hope it's clear and if you measure these two opposite lengths they are the similar ones if this is 3 this is also 3 right just draw a trapezium at home and then you measure and see you will understand what i said right so by this we can say right the length of one side of the parallel pair is twice of the other opposite parallel hope it's clear and the other thing is the gap between one pair of opposite side is constant that means the gap between this and this is similar when you measure this side and this side the gap is similar but the gap here is different now when you measure from here to here it's another length here to here is another length here to here is another length can you see 
the distance is increasing from top to bottom but when you measure this way one pair is a constant from anywhere here to here also same here to here is also same here to here is also same and equals right okay that is what well, those are the special features and you can't say anything about the angle the angles are different right okay so quadrilaterals what are the quadrilaterals that we learned first one is a square then a rectangle we learned then we learned the rhombus parallelogram and finally the trapezium right okay so let's move on to the next slide let's move on to some exercises now i hope everything is clear right okay before going for exercises let's go for today's summary i hope that it will be a help for you to complete the exercise right today first we learned about figures plain figures and you all know what are plain figures children right figures that are aligned on a plane or a surface right the plane can be horizontal or it can be a vertical plane so board the board the black white board is a vertical plane but when you think about the table it is a horizontal plane so whatever the figures that are nicely kept flattened or aligned on a horizontal surface or a vertical surface those are plane figures then we learned about the plane figures how they are formed some are made with straight line segments some are made only with uh, curved lines and some are made with straight lines and curved line board and then we learned uh, plane figures further we classified to open plane figures and closed plane figures open plane figures they are not properly enveloped or they are not closed properly they are open figures that's why we call them as open figures but when you think about closed plane figures they are nicely overlapped or they are nicely closed and enveloped or the starting point and the ending point of a figure is similar so those are closed plane figures then we learned uh, what rectilinear plane figures are actually straight uh, play uh, closed plane figures which are made only with straight line segments are rectilinear plane figures then we came to know what are these shapes and the, these shapes these figures are all rectilinear plane figures because they are made with straight line segments only and then we came to know what are the special uh, features of rectilinear plane figures and the special parts of them some sides and angles what is a side what is an angle we came to learn we came to know and then finally we learned that uh, in a small there's a hidden thing that we are going to learn with that uh, the number of angles in a rectilinear plane figure is similar to the number of sides and then we learned we further learned about the shapes the rectilinear plane figures the smallest rectilinear plane figure is a triangle so we learned that a triangle has three sides and three angles okay Uh, and then we learn came to learn about quadrilaterals what are truly quadrilaterals right then uh, the rectilinear plane figures which are made only with four sides four straight sides four straight line segments are known as quadrilaterals right and then we uh, finally came to classify and we learned five types of quadrilaterals square rectangle rhombus parallelogram map finally trapezium and we also learn their special features okay children now let's move on to the exercises right let's do some exercises first one fill in the blanks with the most suitable answer right a all the sides are equal in length in blank and blank right now go to your previous knowledge we learned about various shapes and figures right all sides are equal in length in blank and blank this this is this is made with quadrilateral sides 
these two are for what are what are the answers can you guess me yes children so all the sides are equal in the what in the square and the crooked square what is a crooked square children this crooked square the crooked square is the is known as the rhombus so the answers are square and rhombus okay so all the sides are equal in length in square and rhombus fine let's go to the next one the smallest rectilinear plane figure is right what is the smallest rectilinear plane figure i think you are well known about it now the answer is triangle so the smallest rectilinear plane figure is the triangle my dear children right third one opposite sides are equal in length in blank and blank right now opposite sides are uh, now all the sides are equal in length all the sides are equal in length in square and rhombus what about the opposite sides opposite sides are equal in length in rectangle right what can we call as the crooked rectangle the crooked rectangle can be called as the parallelogram right so we can say opposite sides are equal in length in rectangle and the parallelogram right trapezium has only blank pair of parallel angles how many parallel angles are there when you consider the trapezium right parallel stands for what right the gap between the sides two sides there is only one pair of two now look at here when i draw the trapezium right the length with is constant in this pair only but the length when you measure is not constant here they are changing here to here is different here to here is different little by little it will be lengthy and lengthy that is why we say the trapezium has only one pair of parallel angles so trapezium has only how many pair of parallel angles children only one one parallel angles one pair of parallel angles one pair these two are taken as one pair one pair stands for two no right there are blank sides in a quadrilateral how many sides are there in a quadrilateral right we learnt about the strange types of prefixes that is uh, used in maths and science and then you can know that quadra or tetra stands for four right so there are how many sides in a quadrilateral four sides hope is clear right so let's move on to the next question question number 2 children now i hope you got the study pack this week study pack about rectilinear plane figures i send you the note right so this is about the note in the note there are questions i have taken the questions so that we can discuss their answers properly right so if you have done that uh, you can just go through your answers right and see whether you have answered correctly after engaging in this lesson okay question number 2 write a similarity between a square and a rhombus right now you know right what is a similarity means same quality what are the what is a, what is the same quality between a square and a rhombus right both the figures are equal right you know when both the figures all four sides are equal in length so we can say all four sides are equal in length in all the figures
Right, all the four sides are equal in length in mole, that is just both square rows. Okay, third question. Write a similar feature between a rectangle and a parallelogram. Right, again, another same feature between a rectangle and a parallelogram. What can you say? You can say that opposite sides are equal in length in both the figures. Right. So, opposite sides are equal in length in both the figures. Right? I will just write that in both. Fourth question. Write a similarity between a square and a rectangle. Right, you can answer that now you know. Write similarity between a square and a rectangle. What are the similarity? Both of them are having right angles. All the angles are right angles in the square and rectangle. But can you say anything about the sides? No, those are different. In the square, all four sides are equal in length. But in the rectangle, the opposite sides are equal in length. So you can't take it. It's not a difference. It is not a similarity. That is the difference between a square and a rectangle. But the similarity is children. All the angles are right angles in both. All the angles are right angles in both. Okay. So I think you are going to, you got uh, answers for your queries you had in your previous study pack. So let's move on to the next question. This is the last one. Right. Mark true or false. Right. If the answers are correct, you can mark it as capital T because it is true. If the answer is false, wrong, we are going to mark with capital F because that are because those are wrong. Right. First one. Triangle is a quadrilateral. Triangle is a quadri quadrilateral. Is it true, children? No. Triangle is a rectilinear plane figure. That is true. But can you say triangle is a quadrilateral? No. Why? It has only three sides. So we can say no, it is false. Triangle is not a quadrilateral. So it is false. Right. All the closed plane figures are rectilinear. All the closed plane figures are rectilinear. Right. Now, what is the definition of a rectilinear plane figure, children? Right. Rectilinear plane figures are closed plane figures made with only straight line segments. What is this? All the closed plane figures. Can you say all the closed plane, plane figures are rectilinear plane figures? No children. Why? Some closed plane figures are made with curved lines. Some are made with straight lines and some are made with what? So, this is a tricky question. So, what can we say? All the closed figure, plane figures are not rectilinear plane figures. So this is wrong here. Yeah? All the closed plane figures are rectilinear. Is it correct? No, it is false. Right, next one. Rectangle has all the properties of a square. Rectangle has all the properties of a square. That means this says that rectangle and a square is similar. Can you say that the rectangle and the square is similar? No, my dear children. There are similarities and there are differences between them also. Otherwise, we can call a rectangle as a square, no children. Can you understand? Yes. So, rectangle has all the properties of a square. No. Why? All four sides are equal in length in the square. All the opposite sides are equal in length in the rectangle. Right? And then all four angles are similar in both. Okay. 
So rectangle has all the properties of a square? No, it has only one similar property. So this is also false. Wrong. This is also false. Right. Next one. Triangle has only three sides and three angles. Triangle has only three sides and three angles. Is it true, children? Yes. Because it has three sides and three angles only, it, the, the figure has got its main triangle. Okay, so it is true. Right, next one. All the opposite sides are parallel in a trapezium. All the opposite sides are parallel in a trapezium. Right. Now, we learn nicely trapezium. Right. Trapezium has only... Right, trapezium has only one, one pair of parallel angles. It has only one opposite pair of parallel angles. Right, so can you say all the opposite sides are parallel in a trapezium? No, only one pair of opposite side is parallel. This pair is not parallel. So is this statement true? No, children, it is false. So capital Right, I hope it's very clear with you. Right, and all your queries are answered now. Right, so we we'll go to the last slide. Quite right, children, I'm going to invite you now. Now we learned nicely about the rectilinear plane figures. Right, and I'm going to invite you to complete this exercise on your maths writing book. Right. Question number 1 and 3 of exercise 12.3 in page number 7 and 8. Page numbers 7 and 8 in your part 2 maths textbooks. Please copy these exercises and complete them in your maths writing book. Right. Thank you my dear children and may God bless you.